objectives of this experiment are to observe the behavior of gases in terms of pressure and temperature and to describe the movement of gas molecules confined in a container. The materials needed in this experiment are a glass bottle, a measuring cup, a balloon, candle and matches, ice, and basin. So the first step is to measure 30 ml of water using the measuring cup. But since we don't have 30 ml here, we're just gonna have to use a 10 ml scale and pour the water in the glass container using that measurement three times. Then, attach the balloon to the mouth of the glass container and make sure it is tightly attached. Light the candle using the matches to heat the glass container with the balloon on its mouth. A few minutes later, A little longer than a few minutes later. Three thousand whoop who's later. But since this process is gonna take me forever, I just asked my grandma to help me and use the stove. Like, if you look at it. It has a bump. <laughs> Unlike Kadina. Maybe. Oop. Oop. <laughs> it could stand. Look. Place the flask in the water with ice and observe. Oh my gosh, no, you're not doing this. happened to the balloon when the glass container was heated? How about when it was drenched in water with ice? 
As we can observe in the experiment earlier, when the glass container was heated, the balloon that was attached to it started to inflate. Meanwhile, when we put it in the basin with water and ice, it started to deflate. Do you think pressure was exerted inside the balloon when it was heated? Why or why not? Yes, I do think so. This can be proven because the balloon inflated. But the question is why did it inflate, right? Well, the molecules in the air are always creating pressure. Countless molecules collide into everything every second, creating a constant force. So, when the glass bottle gets heated, the molecules inside started moving with more force. They create more pressure, causing the balloon to expand outward until the pressure equalizes. If you increase the temperature of the glass container, what do you think would happen to the pressure inside the balloon? We've known that the molecules in the gas are not bound together, so when they are heated, they spread out flying in all directions at a high rate. And because there is a balloon attached on top of the bottle, they strike the sides of the container more forcefully, which result into the balloon expanding when the temperature was increased. When there is more pressure in the balloon, do you think the gas particles would want to escape more or less? Why? Yes, it would. So, think of it as this. Since the glass container filled with water is heated above fire, and because of the heat, the water inside would evaporate and produce gas, which would then lead its molecules moving with force that would strike the sides of the balloon until it is inflated. If gas molecules were confined inside a car tire, what would happen to the tire if the pressure is high at the higher temperature? Since air is compressible, the gas molecules that is inside the car tire will expand due to heat. 